Um, so, yeah, what is MicroPython all about? Python, uh, it's a re-implementation of Python 3. So it's aimed to be uh, re efficient to run on a microcontroller and in constrained systems. So it's not Python as you know it from your desktop computer. It's Python as is re-implementation re of it. There are a lot of different development platforms out there already that ship with MicroPython pre-installed. Um, so you have the official MicroPython Pi boards and some cameras that run MicroPython as the optical chemical re recognition. Uh, Adafruit has a circuit Python port of MicroPython and they are do doing a lot of hardware and supporting the community in quite some big effort. Then there's BBC Microbit, there's a company named Pycom, so it's already quite a lot out there if you want to try it out. You can also try it out online on our homepage in a simulator. Uh, MicroPython had started about five years ago with a Kickstarter campaign. Uh, Damien George is the creator of it. Uh, he is an Australian physicist who was in, working at Cambridge at the time. He had the idea of putting Python on a microcontroller. So he ran this Kickstarter and turned out to be quite successful. So there was a lot of interest in having a high-level scripting language running to control low-level hard, uh, hardware. This was about five years ago, and since then a lot has happened. Some of you might know the BBC Microbit, for example, which was given in the year 2016 to about a million children in the UK so that they learn teaching, uh, that they learn Python. Uh, in school with, the, with MicroPython on the BBC Microbit, so they get interaction from hardware and software, and the people think that might be quite some fun. Then there's been the first O'Reilly uh, book from Niklas Tolberg, uh, Programming with MicroPython. Um, MicroPython is an open source project which is hosted on GitHub, and it's about 7,500 stars, so it's quite popular and it's growing. And also, MicroPython has been into space. Uh, what MicroPython aims to be is, on the one side, you want to have low power applications. It wants to be small in size of in terms of code. Uh, it doesn't like to have a lot of storage space to run in. And, of course, the most pressure time, it wants to be fast. So. Um, all this combined together, it's kind of most efficient. Um, well, I'm going to speed this up all a little bit. I want to, talk, I want to do a little live demo today with the new PyBot D, which is the second generation of the official MicroPython PyBot. Um, so I have one here connected to my PC, which runs as an access point, because I made up my own little Wi-Fi to make sure that it's going to be working, hopefully. Um, so I have um, someone that supports me in the audience. <laughs> Very good, yeah. Um, and I'm going to log in through a web REPL, which you can see here. So I'm going to disconnect it again and connect. It's going to, can you all see that? It's going to ask me about the password. And now actually connected into the device the gentleman in front has. I'm um, going to run a little code that I have prepared. Um, first, I'm going to read some sensors. Uh, wait. Like this. So now you should see a blinking LED, maybe, not from ever, and some noise. Some people in the front might hear it, and you can see it's reading sensor, so it's sending it back to my machine. And we're going to do some more fun stuff. Um,
So now you should <laughs> you should see some code running on the LED tile on the. So what I'm so what I'm trying to to say is, it's really easy to set it up. Um, I have a little access point you made myself, which is just a few lines of code, and talking to a device over there in the audience. So. How, the, the first thing, how easy and convenient it is to, to use MicroPython. And yeah, that's basically what I wanted to say. So are there any questions? Thank you very much, Christine. You're welcome. If you guys. So the next speaker, uh, yes, uh, we we'll, uh, we'll, we are waiting for the next speaker. So who is next to speak? Please come. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Christine, it's, it's oh. just something for you. Thank you. Then. Here's some water if, if you if, if you yeah. need. Okay. Now we are unmuted. Okay. 
Wait. Hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. <laughs> Oh, no, no. 